Put it on. Alright. Let's go. Let's get it. Put that there. Today, we got to work on this 05 Ultima. We got to work on the passenger side. Axle should not be that hard. Let's start. Let's begin. Tools you will need. You need your impact. You got impact, air, electric. Don't matter. Soon you can take off the axle bolt or whatever you gotta do. Other bolts. You're gonna need a 36 socket just in case you know the new one is bigger than the 32. You need a 32 extension. 12, 10 mil. Let's take off the uh, the, the engine splash shield. Ratchet 3 8 19 17 wrench flathead 21 ratchet half inch ratchet dikes take off those pins and a hammer bang shit out and of course your new axle all right let's get it First things first, jack up your car at a good height. Alright, put your safeties. You can jack up one side or the other side, don't matter. We, you just, we're just gonna work on the passenger side, so let's get it. Let's take this wheel off, right? Now, let's take off this axle nut. So let's remove this uh, pin right here. I'm gonna use these dikes to take off this pin right here. And All right, it's a 32. Put it in there. Let's take it off. Mighty Ewalt. Seize this. Be a 19 back there, right here. That one, Wait. this one right here, and this one at the bottom, right there. Both 19s. 19, 19 over here. Okay. All right. You turn the wheel towards the right. Make it easier. Put the ratchet on there. Just like that. All right. Now. Down. This one, the bottom one. Let's see back under there. Okay, soon you take off the caliper, put the rotor somewhere, you know, to the side or something. Now let's take off these bolts right here. This should be a 19 right here and like 17. So use a wrench. 17. Hold that side wrench 17. All right, now 17 to hold this. So hold it, like, hold it like that. And to 19, and let's take it off. All right, when you do the bottom, make sure you remove this ABS sensor out your way so you don't, you know, mess it up. All right, all right, let's get that bottom bolt. Alright, let's take off this tie rod bolt right here. Tie rod, it's a pin. Uh, this tie rod bolt right here has a pin in it. Yeah, right here. Tie rod, it's a pin. Let's take off the pin first. This is a 19. Alright, now it's like bolts on the bracket where the axle holds right here. It's like 12. 12 mil, like you know, socket right there. Yep. Right here, that's a 12. It's like three of them. So there's one on top of here, right there, up top, and there's one on the other side. Alright, so let's take this off right now. 
this is what I'm using take it off 12 extension you know 3 8 should take it off all right I'm take it off okay. same way for the top ball I'm using the same 12 this ex extension and 3 8 same thing so I'm take this off Now, for the, for the other third bolt, it's obviously not here, so it's on the other side. So you have to take off this uh, engine splash shield right here, this splash guard, so you can see the bolt. You could bend it or you could just take it off. Me, I'll take it off. Right. Now, engine guard is off, splash shield, whatever you want to call it, is off. It's like two, two little clips here. And the 10 right here. Let's see. Alright, and you see the bolt right in there. You see that? Squeeze the 10 right, I mean, not the 10, the 12 mil right in there. You should be able to get it. Use the like same extension and the 12. It's right here. Same extension and 12. And it's fit in there. It should fit. Okay. Set like that. Take it off. Now let's take the axle out the spindle right here, so we can get the axle out. So let's push on this. Take this out, just like that. Let's have it out like that. Now, now we're gonna have to free this. We're gonna have to spin this right here. So right here. Try to spin it so we could try to hit it out this way because it's kind of seized on there right now, so it should not be seized, so it should be easy to go on. So let's try and hit this right here so we could spin so we could pop it out. All right, let me show you. Now, right here, right here. See that? You get a chisel, you could hit right here. Try to spin it so you can pop it out. All right, let's get it. Let's do it. Now, you see? See how I spin it? I put it on towards this side. Now, we're going to try and pull on this. Sometimes you're not easy to pull out, so you have to hit it sometimes. But mine was, <laughs> I got lucky, so. This thing's turnt, so let's try to take it out, pry it out, something, something to take it out. Right. I got lucky, so I could hit it with the hammer. I could fit in here and hit the axle. It's coming out. Look, I got anti-seeds on it already. See now it's out. Now you can just pull it out. Make sure, make sure you watch out for the seal in the tranny. You don't want to fuck up the seal. So let's put, let's pull it out, nice and slow. Okay. Now let's match up the old one with the new one. Should match. Manual axle right here. It's aftermarket shit. Alright, sometimes you could rebuild these, but I don't got time for that. We're just gonna slap this aftermarket on there and call it a day. Okay, now let's put this new one on. Make sure you put it in careful. Careful, do not mess up the seal in the tranny. Alright, let's get it. sure it's in flush on the tranny all right you may drip some oil so make sure you fill that with some tranny oil some manual tranny oil see how it's on there flush now make sure it's on the bracket good so you can put your bolts in all right let's put the bolts 12 mil bolt let's put it in there 
like six, like six, so. Who's up here? Let's see who's inside. Let's see right here, let's start with one right here. Wow. Right in there. You see, right there. Now the axle is in. Make sure all your bolts are, are tight, all three bolts. Check them all. Double check, triple check. Make sure they're all tight. Just put the axle back in the spindle. Put everything back together. You got it from here because it's common sense right now. All right, put your wheel on, torque it. Test drive, make sure there's no vibration. When you're at high speed, go on the highway, rip it. You know what I mean, let's test it. All right, as soon as you put everything back together, make sure you test drive, make sure it don't vibrate, make sure you don't make a click noise while you turn. All right, don't forget to give me a like, subscribe, because I got more videos coming.